Hi, I'm Julie. I'm a high school student from Missouri. My sketchbooks mean a lot of things to me. Um, I write my personal thoughts in them, I write comics in them, and I also use them as observational sketching books. So I just use them basically every day to record my thoughts. This is a pie chart I basically made to document how I spend my time with my sketchbook. So the majority of my time is spent flipping through old drawings, just trying to find ideas for what to draw next. The next part of my time I spent doing angry rants and I actually do the large majority of my angry rants in like Spanish or Esperanto and I also write them backwards because I don't want people to like look over my shoulder and see what I'm drawing. So if I'm drawing my friends and I want them to see I'll just say hey look at this drawing and then it'll just be another form of procrastination so that I don't have to think about what else I should draw. I also feel kind of ashamed for just drawing the same thing, I feel like I draw way too many portraits a lot of the time. I just spend time thinking about how I do that, but then I don't actually change what I draw, which is kind of bad. I also spend some time thinking about what I should actually draw, trying to break away from the habit of just drawing portraits. And then the small portion of time is actually spent drawing. But this sketchbook spread is a combination of my observational drawing and a comic that I made the other day. So the observational drawing was done in paint marker of the people on the Boston subway, I think. I was trying to sketch them without making eye contact with them, which is kind of hard because I was trying to focus on all the facial features. This one is a comic about how whenever I have a lot of stuff, I'll procrastinate by just lying down on my bed and like being on my phone. This is a combination of observational sketches done at the airport and that's whenever I was traveling to Boston. I tried to exaggerate a lot of the facial features in this one so for example this person has a huge nose and like a ridiculously big ball cap but that's not actually how they looked in real life but I tried to capture their figures. And then this is just a comic about how whenever I'm sitting and just doing nothing in my room and my mom knocks on the door I have to pull out my SAT math book and look like I'm actually doing something. This is a gouache painting. It's a self-portrait that I did from a mirror and I tried to capture my colors, but like the colors of my face, but also exaggerate them just slightly. Since it's a sketchbook and I didn't want it to be a finished piece, I just wrote some thoughts I was having that day. This page is just a collection of random scribbles that I think I did while I wasn't looking at the page. Sometimes I do that to just kind of get my mind flowing and then I'll try to make shapes out of it. I started the sketchbook, I think, on the first day of school. It's whenever I met one of my best friends and I just started off by drawing her and she got really creeped out first, but then, I don't know, we just slowly became friends. This is a little page or like a little portion of a page that my friend and I drew during psychology class. I think we were trying to capture our teacher's facial expression because she was very angry at the time, so we just drew a really, really angry person. I always feel really awkward drawing people, especially my friends, but then I think they've gotten kind of used to it because I'll be known as the person who draws people during lunch. This sketchbook page was originally a color study for a piece I was doing at the time, but I didn't exactly like it, so I covered it up with a bit of brush pen that I was using. This is just my friend and she's at the computers at the time. This sketchbook page mostly consists of notes I was taking during portfolio class. But then my friend here was just sitting and looking at her phone or her sketchbook, I think. This is a spread of thumbnails that I did for my illustration class. Our assignment was to make 40 thumbnails um, based on an illustration prompt we were given. And so here I'm just testing out all the possibilities for the class. This sketchbook is called The Dan Bible, and it's basically a big comic book that my friend and I made over the course of a month. We illustrated 2.5 pages every single day. It's about this RA that we had during a camp, and his name was Dan. He looked like a heroic figure. We wanted to make a comic book series based on him. This is the scene whenever the hero meets the villain in the story. So you can see here that the villain is basically beheading a bunch of people and putting their heads on strings. That's supposed to be basically the height of the action. And then in this scene, they're just supposed to look really terrifying while they hold the hero in their hand. I pulled an all-nighter for this. They actually wouldn't let us draw like in the common room past 12. Like they would make us go to bed. So I had to like sneak into the laundry room and like pull my all-nighter there. <laughs> you like died or something, I feel like they'd be like, oh, oh that's, okay. that's yeah, uh, it's a performance piece, you know? Is that it from sketchbooks? Yeah. Cool! Yeah!